Guys, what's up? Hope y'all are having an awesome day. I am back. It is the day. It is finally happening. Sin F450 content. Um, there's going to be some videos put together. It's just filmed a bunch of different days. But today is putting the new electronics in the motor. And it's going to be very fun, very interesting. I'm um, going to lay this out, solder this new system in, and then we're going to go test it. And it's going to be sick. So I really hope you guys enjoy. I know you've been waiting for this. I apologize for the wait. Focus on some other car stuff, but we're back on the RC stuff. It's going to be freaking sick. So I can't wait for you guys to see it. Okay, so over here to start with, I've already got the wheels off the truck. Um, here's the diff right here. And let me roll it around to what we need to see. See this part right here. So if you look in here, there is just some grease and some other stuff in there. My grease kind of got ruined from the mud the other day, so I'm going to also put sealant around this diff case. Like, if you watch my TRX4 video, you'd see how I did that. But anyway, when you spin this diff, um, just like any open diff, you don't know how it works. One of these wheels will spin that has, like, no pressure on it, per se, and the other wheel that has pressure will just sit there. And the other wheel just spins. So this wheel's not doing anything while this wheel is just sitting there doing nothing because it's in the air or spinning in water or whatever. And this will tire that heck of traction is not doing anything. 
And that's because these two, I don't know what kind of they're called, spider gears, planetary gears, whatever they're called, they're just moving and they're loose and open. So what you do, this gear needs to stay open and free, this one on the outside, because it connects to the drive shaft at the back that sits in the truck like this. So these two gears are what you need to block. However you want to do that, um, I've seen some videos, people maybe use Play-Doh and stuff, but I'm just going to use JV Weld because I don't want to have to deal with it again. And I just want a good solid solution. So I'm going to be taking the center diff out, cleaning all the grease out, gluing it, and then putting it all back together. So here's a close-up of these gears of the grease in there. You're just going to want to take some of the JV Weld or whatever product you decide to use. Uh, if you don't want a permanent solution, you can maybe try Play-Doh like I saw or some I don't know, really st sticky goo or so I don't know what you would put in there. Um, just some things you don't want these two gears to spin. Now this one, you want to keep free and clear of anything because it's going to have to spin on this gear on the inside that spins with the drive shaft can't really spin it that much but um this gear right here needs to stay clean for that gear and these two in the center are the only thing you're locking so that way this is just a solid piece that spins both tires right there little hex and the pin is normal and then this is a two millimeter I'm going to bump the camera Let me take that out set that to the side and then I'm going to go ahead and Take this off as well. And you can really disconnect the bottom one if you'd like, but there's a nut on the back and just for the time sake of this video, I just want to disconnect the easiest one. And you just keep sliding this off very gently, wiggling back and forth, and this will come off. And then you can take and pull the axle out just like that and that is my gunk stuff i was talking about i uh, do not recommend putting the gunk in there actually now that i remember doing that i recommend to just go ahead and glue it if you want your diff locked but that was that side same thing on the other side it's the exact same method so just repeat that and then you can go about the diff will just pop right out like the other side i'm going to go ahead and clean this one it's going to take me a couple minutes and then i'll come back with how i'm going to glue it all together okay so i just have the diff clean uh, took brake clean and cleaned all this once I got it apart. Now the next step we're going to do is have all your parts laid out how you want them, whichever order you desire. Now what I'm going to be using is whatever you want to use. Um, I'm using this because I had some. There's definitely better stuff out there than this, but I had this. This is what I'm going to use. I don't see why it won't work. There won't be that much pressure on this, and I'm pretty sure this will hold a lot of pressure because it's JB Weld. So. Just like, but then I'm going to take this, stir it up a lot. Push that claw movement. All right, I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it on this center gear right here. On that side, really nicely. I'm going to flip it over, do the exact same thing right here. probably way too much that's fine then I'm going to take my little gear place it in that same thing right here take my little gear and place him in there then the same thing over here and I'm gonna do that then on top of that I'm going to take and drizzle that all over this inside just because I can and I have the material. 
Okay. Then also just for good measure, we're going to take and drizzle across the outside. And then we're going to take and put more on this side and put this back on. So we are back. It is the next day. These have set well over 24 hours. It's nighttime the next day. So they're glued very well, sealed up very nice. Everything went back together very good. I can't move them at all with my finger or with a screwdriver. So these are going to be perfect. Exactly what I wanted. steering rod that connects to the axle and all that stuff you see it would mount right here so I noticed when it would turn it was just basically flexing this rod and it wouldn't turn the wheel but a quarter of the way if that and then the right side see it's pulling it over there so it would turn that one all the way well the left side but so for this one it just really was just flexing this rod and moving inside the servo on the mount and all that stuff so what i did was took and made a little extension for the servo horn to bring it down so it's not as a angle it's more downward and it can push it rather than just slide it over so that seemed to be working pretty well got the truck on and show you so see it pushes all the way over and it pulls so before it was just taking that slack from right here and it's still loose, nothing's bolted up. But I just want to show you that. Maybe a good idea to add, I don't know if that shows you how long I'm gonna end up trying to purchase a metal servo horn that's that long. But for right now I was just trying to see what I needed to do to get the steering to work properly. Cause I always notice it turned better to one side than the other. So it's just a little update guys um, for that if you're having trouble with your sin steering. Okay guys, so now what I wanted to go over next was tires. The tires came with the Sin, they look pretty cool, they're really scale, but they're kind of hard, they don't grip up as much, and the truck weighs nothing for what it is, and like the size and scale of the truck, it weighs nothing for how long it is. So adding weight to the truck may be another option, I'm not doing that at this time, but maybe later on I will. But for right now I want to focus on tires, there's no dually wheel options that I like. There's one that J Concepts or Proline makes called the caliber or something like that. I really don't like the way it looks at all. Um, personally, it's just a personal thing. It's not that they look bad. I just don't like them. Then RC4 Drive doesn't have any in stock or anything like that. There's some that are on eBay made from China that will get here in like a month. I'm not waiting a month. So I took advantage of some material I had here um, and I made some wheels and then I combined them with other wheels that I had. Let me kind of show you what I'm talking about. So here we just have some regular metal method beadlock wheels. And then we have BFG tires mounted up solid. So this doesn't look the best, but it functions for right now until I can wait a month or decide what I'm gonna do for the other wheels. These are 1.9, BFG mud terrains, KM3s, mounted on, the front wheel is mounted on one of these metal beadlocks, and the back one is mounted to a custom printed 3D wheel. Um, if you can kind of see back there, there's a 3D printed wheel back there, and then it has screws screwing each other, screwing it to each other, um, and then that's kind of what these screws do, and then I dremeled the center out and made them work, so... Um, it doesn't look the best from the back side, but this is what it is. I messed up right here and went through the wrong hole, but you'll never see it. They're even and all that good stuff, and that's the wheel setup I made for the truck. These tires are the 4.12 size. So they're the class one smaller scale uh, compared to the factory sin tires and wheels. 
they are almost identical. Like, they're basically the same size, so it's perfect. But this, you can just see, it's kind of hard to squeeze and stuff. And then these, they're just obviously a softer compound. Is with these, they're not. Um, so that's my solution to that is BFG 1.9s. So my other set came in the mail today. So here's the part number and everything if you wanted to get some for yourself. Then I'm just sticking them on regular wheels for the front and the offset seems to be actually pretty good. So that's gonna work out nicely. And then these are the ones that I made. So you're gonna need six tires, just three bags of these and a set of these wheels. And then if you don't have a 3D printer or a way to 3D print the back, just like a mock-up wheel, I'm sure you could take advantage of a plastic wheel and use it. I'm not 100% sure how you'd want to go about that. Um, but that's my solution for the tire and wheel setup on the Sand F450 as of right now. Until I get a better wheel solution. Now this wheel solution isn't good. I mean, it's going to work perfect. I'll test it the weekend. It looks pretty good. Um, I'll post up pictures of that in a little bit. But that's just going to help it have more traction. You have a ton of tire options now. And you just, the possibilities are endless. Um, wanted more sim content you've wanted more rc content we've been m3 focused the last couple days but we are here at our favorite rc store we've got chase here we're going here and we're going to you know explore we get some new items so we get probably not a new kit maybe a new kit it's, it's been a while maybe we deserve one we'll see mm -hmm. Okay guys, we just got done. Um, really exciting, really exciting. It took us a while to pick out what um, we wanted in a way. We didn't know if we wanted two kits or three kits or five kits or no kits, which is what we ended up with. I'm, I'm kidding. We didn't get a kit today. We were wanting to, there was pretty cool to me, a little uh, TTO2 Porsche and the Supra. We were thinking about getting them, but right now it's kind of not what's in the works right now. We got some other stuff going on, some really cool stuff. I'm holding some very special stuff in my lap right now. You guys will see in a little bit when we get back to the shop. So very exciting. Guys, we are back. Multiple gifts. Not a big haul, but a, a decent haul, a very well needed haul. The, the faithful old Ford F450 here is in need of some upgrades. She's caught on fire probably about three times now, put out with a water bottle by yours truly behind the camera chase, and it's time for an upgrade. So what we have here today is a Savox 1212 SG waterproof servo with a astonishing 638.8 ounces of torque. Insane, should have absolutely no problem. Then 14 transit speed, which isn't that horrible. 0.14, you know, it's, it's all right. It's not the best, the torque is what we wanted. Then, here's where the home run comes in. We have the Hobby Ring Easy Run Axe 540, 1800 volt uh, KV, brushless system. Censored, all that good stuff. 100% waterproof, bury it in the ocean, bring it back up, and she'll still run. I don't know about all that. I can't make those claims, but we'll see. So, open the box. Got these two right here. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. We have the Axe motor. Um, FOC technology for rock crawlers and stuff. It's 540 can size. Small, very small. Um, I definitely expect it to be bigger, but it, that's, that's awesome. It's really tiny. Wow, really cool. Sensor wire and everything on there screws in to be waterproof and everything. The seal on it, it's really cool. I to solder these, not a problem at all, not a problem. Wow, it's very tiny. I did not expect it to be that tiny. That is gonna be a space saver right there, space saver. What we came to see right there. We wanted the pink stickers. That's what I wanted. But right on the front window of the sim. That's what I wanted. That's why I bought this system. And then the zip ties right here. That's it. That's it. And today's video is over, guys. So thank y'all for watching. We got what we wanted, came for. I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, this is the ESC. Comes with some heat shrink. It's pretty cool. I love their start button or on-off button on here. It's really seems really quality and stuff. I really like that. 
about the hobby wing stuff this is my first hobby wing system by the way but i've messed with friends a few other friends stuff and it's, it seems pretty pretty legit so we went with it why not uh, xt60 connector it's pretty nice pretty nice no the side and there she is 1212 sg coreless waterproof masterpiece right there masterpiece and sit right here very nicely <laughs> So for the um, ESC placement, the receiver box was over here, but just with the wiring and everything, I think it's gonna work way better if I switch that back here and I put this here, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. And then the servo obviously goes there. And this is kind of gonna be the layout we're gonna have for it and just kind of lay it out just like this. And I'll secure this probably with double sided tape like it was before, same with this one. And I'll go ahead and get the soldering on the ESC and get everything programmed and see if she runs. Guys. I got the new system installed. It is sick. It's got this app you can use to tune it. It's awesome. It's amazing. Everyone should be like that, in my opinion. It's just so cool to have that. It's like a real car you can tune with. But it's really cool. I'm going to show you guys now. The wires aren't really finalized. I was really excited to show you guys this. The system was awesome. So coming right to the truck, I have the ESC mounted right here with the switch. Then I put my receiver box back over here. I have some wires I need to tuck and all that good stuff out of the way. But everything fit really nice. Everything works really nice. I got it programmed, firmware updated, all of that cool stuff, guys. It is awesome. Got the new Savox servo mounted. It looks freaking sick right there, being all blue. That's all good and out of the way. I drove it a little bit, and it is great. I can't wait to throw maybe 3S power at it. <laughs> guys and that's it this concludes our ultimate sin f450 upgrade guide my opinions i'm not saying i'm right i'm not saying i'm wrong this is just what i've done to my truck to make it work for the needs that i wanted to do with i hope it helps you guys maybe see what you want to use for yours what you don't want to use for yours and just helps you along the way I'm really excited to see how this um, all works out and harmony together. Hopefully, all the components coming together and making my ultimate tow rig. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it was very fun making it. I had an awesome time. I can't wait to go test it out and see how it does and put it through its paces. I will do a review after this of my upgraded sin review. So look for that to come soon. But I can't wait to go out and test this thing and start towing. I'll drop all of my upgrades down in the comments below. And I'm still working on trailer hitches. If you guys want those, leave a comment below. Those are still testing. I've had a little problem with the trailer. So I'm working on that and working on that and getting those out. I will do that as soon as I have enough demand for them. If I don't, that's fine. I'll just use it for me and my buddies. But guys, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please leave a like. If you didn't, dislike. Let me know in the comments below what you think about my upgrades, what you're planning to do to yours. And please remember to subscribe. It helps out a lot. It makes more content for you guys. It's just awesome. And I really want to bring you guys along for this journey. So thank you. Have a great day.